Okay, quick update. So for two weeks I've been running the suspension on some air brake uh, antifreeze, de-icer and lubricant. And it's been working fine. I did have issues before, again, where the uh, valve froze up. So the compressor was fine, but the valve froze up. So here's what you got to do. Take the uh, Torx out, the two Torx T25, pull the tail light out. And then we'll have a look inside of here. Okay, so there's two things in behind here. One of which is um, the exhaust hose and the other one is the filter. So the first time I did this, of course, it was cold enough I broke the uh, retainer, but who gives a shit? Like, it's, it's, we know it's not made for Canada, so I'm, not, I'm actually not too worried about it. Once the tail light is in, it actually keeps it in place. But what we want to do is we're after this um, intake hose, okay? So this is uh, just pushed on here. So we pull it off, okay? And uh, we can try and see if the filter actually works. And the best thing is to just um, pull. If you blow, it might not give you as much uh, of a clue if it's still good than when you suck on it. So this one is not frozen or obstructed or anything. It's fine, we'll just put it aside. And then we use our de-icer. Now this is from Napa, the ALD3. I'll leave the part number in the uh, description box. I've used it now for two weeks and it hasn't given me problems. So I had to put the delay on there to make sure that the system isn't, um, you know, breaks. Because this is alcohol based, I think, and it is made for brake lines and has a lubricant in it. And I just wanted to make sure it works. So all I did is very, very little put in here to begin with. So I got the, uh, the shields removed and uh, we can clearly see the compressor. Okay, so unthaw him. It doesn't need much heat actually. And the valve, if you're using a hot air gun, make sure you have your hand there as well and see that this doesn't get too hot. This is a plastic molded housing, so don't melt anything, all right? And especially the lines. Keep your hand there and just put enough heat in to unthaw it. What else? So there's this uh, relay in here, in this far corner that runs the compressor. If you know a little bit about electronics, you can take a wire and basically bridge the corresponding prongs, this one and that one, on the inside here. And you can see if the compressor runs. If it doesn't run, the compressor's fucked. If it does run, it's the computer that's fucked. Well, not, it's just, it's an ignorant thing. Um, also, upgrade to the uh, breaker, uh, so you can get rid of the fuse. It might still break every once in a while, and there's too much money. Okay, so the one thing I haven't figured out yet is this ignorant computer, like, the suspension is okay, but it's still a piece of shit because it doesn't actually know where it's at. So the suspension is not an off-road 2, it's an off-road 1, yet it thinks it's an off-road 2, so I can't raise it anymore, but I also can't lower it right now. Um, no reason, it just doesn't want to do it. It's not running the compressor. It will work fine in a little bit again. So you'll basically sometimes just have to drive the vehicle. Take it out, drive it, and it will fix itself. Um, if it doesn't work, then it might be because that valve is frozen. There's a good chance of that. Um, I have found water in the output hose before. So yeah, it's currently not lowering it, so I think the valve is frozen. <laughs> 